Anonymous Watch Guy here with another unboxing video for you. Quick wrist check. Today I'm wearing the Stova Classic Flieger. It is Flieger Friday. And in front of us here we have the Brew Retromatic. Um, I did cheat a little bit and open this up and get the plastic off the dial because when I tried to do it on video the first time, it didn't go so well. Uh, but Brew is a cool... Uh, micro brand uh, watches based upon industrial espresso machines. Definitely a very unique idea. Who thought to make a watch based upon a coffee maker? But uh, they're very cool pieces. Uh, inside you've got your little kind of instruction booklet with your warranty inside there. Also comes with a handy little cleaning cloth for your watch. Got your inner box, and we have uh, the watch right here. This is the copper dial version, and this copper dial version is currently sold out uh, on the website. Uh, I have not seen a video for the copper dial variant anywhere online either. Uh, so this is maybe the only video out there of this particular variant of the watch. Uh, really kind of cool texturing on that dial. I kind of like uh, the pattern you've got there. Uh, this is a 36 millimeter watch. And it is 39 millimeters lug to lug here. Uh, it is 10 and a half millimeters thick. And you do have a water resistance of 50 meters and a lug width of 20 millimeters. And this is a, a sapphire crystal uh, on this bad boy. I'm trying to get away from some of that glare from my window there. But it's really cool kind of configuration on that dial. It is a Seiko NH35 movement, pretty standard, uh, pretty standard movement. Um, some pretty cool finishing, very high polished on the sides there, more of a brushing on the top of the case, and then again, polished around kind of the bezel, I guess you could call it around the face of the watch there. Uh, it is a signed crown. It is not a screw down crown. Again, it's only uh, 50 meters water resistance, which is plenty. Um, bracelet is pretty cool as well. It does have a butterfly clasp. Inside the butterfly clasp, you've got a little bit of perlage in there. High polished finish inside the clasp. You do have a little window back there where you can see the movement. That's kind of cool. Also gives you some specs on the back there, brew, uh, stainless steel, automatic movement, sapphire crystal, pretty cool. Uh, this bracelet feels like it is pretty good as well. Definitely like the style. I believe these are, yep, they're definitely push pins on the bracelet, uh, but Kind of like the, the whole kind of vibe, uh, retro kind of vibe that this watch has. Um, finishing looks pretty good. I kind of like that, you know, kind of circular pattern on the center of the dial there. And then you've got your uh, minute track uh, around the outside. Uh, just larger uh, batons for your uh, hours. Uh, and then just automatic down there at the bottom. And then just the brew logo uh, right there smack dab. Very kind of minimalist and simplistic um, looking dial as far as uh, text uh, goes. Uh, but the design is very cool. And that copper color... Uh, you could really even almost call it a salmon color, um, but it is a very nice color. If you can pick that up on the video there, 
I'd say a lot of reflection coming off my window and my kitchen light there, as you can see the kitchen light. Uh, but it it doesn't appear that it, I mean, it's not terrible as far as there does appear to be some AR on there. Uh, but I really like that kind of cool handset too. You can see through uh, the hands, uh, kind of a reverse lollipop on the end of that second hand. Very cool looking watch. This is the first brew I've ever had in the collection. Uh, they've got a really good reputation of making some quality pieces. And, and the quality, uh, just based upon looking at it, uh, getting out of the box here, definitely seems to be there. Uh, definitely a unique and cool looking piece. I do have my Apple Watch sitting here. As a square watch, uh, you know, this is a 36 millimeter, but these square watches do wear a little bit long, larger. Uh, you know, this isn't a dive watch with a big dive bezel, so you've got a larger watch face. This is the 45 millimeter uh, Apple Watch. Uh, so you can see the size difference there. The Apple Watch is obviously a larger watch, but Apple Watch being a well-known square watch, uh, just to give a size comparison there. Uh, but I would say initial impressions, really like that dial color, really like the, uh, the pattern to the dial, uh, really like the kind of minimalist uh, look without any, you know, a lot of text, without, you know, num numerals or no date. Uh, that's great. Finishing seems to be really nice as well. Uh, initial impressions are definitely positive. So uh, if you like the video, I mean, give me a like uh, or subscribe to the channel. But there you have it, the Brew Retromatic in the Copper Dial. Thanks for watching.